Are you going to personally, you physically? Wanna go that way? Huh? You want to go that way? I don't want to go eat anyway. Okay, so leave. I'm trying I don't want to leave. I want to get treatment for my condition. Okay, so you have to put a mask on. No. Okay, we're not doing it. You're under arrest for trespassing. Mask madness continues at some Ontario hospitals. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Disturbing video footage of a man being forcibly removed from a Toronto hospital, Sunnybrook to be exact, the Bayview campus to be even more exact, all because he wasn't wearing a mask. This happened over the Easter long weekend. The man's name is Eugene. He's asked that his last name not be used, but he told me in a phone interview that he decided not to wear a mask because he wasn't showing any symptoms. And the pandemic, it's long over. He tried to make those same arguments to the guards that were telling him he had to put one on in order to get treatment or leave. I, I am not sick. I have no symptoms. I have no COVID. I have no flu. I have no cold. But it I don't matter. pose a threat. The risk that I'm taking to get something is my own personal Wait, so choice. All, and I don't want to wear a mask. If you're willing to kick me out, because and, and refuse me treatment for my pain in my abdomen, which I came to ER for. That's that's your prerogative, but I will not wear a mask under any circumstances. Okay. Depending on your view, you will see uh, Eugene as either a hero or a villain. Maybe you'll just be somewhere in the middle. One thing that we can all agree on, though, is that COVID-19 pandemic is pretty much over. It's definitely not where we were back in March 2020 when wearing masks made sense, when Wearing masks when people were showing up with symptoms made sense. Look, I'm someone who is showing symptoms right now. I don't have COVID, but I keep having this lingering cough. I've got sniffles when I'm outside too long. It's called spring in Canada. But if I showed up coughing and sniffling at a hospital, sure, I'd absolutely wear a mask. That's something Eugene told me he would do as well. But in this case, he showed up with abdomen pain, wanted to see a doctor, was told he couldn't unless he wore a mask and then was threatened with arrest. Is that really where we're going in this province at this point in time, if May 2023? M many hospitals have started to get rid of their mask mandates right across the province. They said, you don't need them anymore. That includes Toronto Sick Kids Hospital. And if they're going to drop them, then you would expect somewhere like Bayview would as well. I tried to reach out to the hospital, ask them for comment at this point. No comment coming forward, no phone calls or emails answered, but this is something that the hospital administration has to deal with. Spoke to someone at the province in the health ministry. They said they have no requirements for health facilities to put in a mask mandate. It's up to each individual hospital. And as each individual hospital looks at the current case data, the current situation in Ontario, if they've still got a mask mandate, you have to wonder why. Are they basing their decisions based on science, based on health data, or are they basing it on fear or perhaps politics? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.